Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for another pack, or L pack map. L pack. L pack. That's right, it's the light. This is the L pack with cursor help and my first map. Thank you, Alphabius. I'm going to say, have fun and a smiley face. Thanks to all the map and mod makers, which is most clear, so I always good to thank them. Many of them are very nice guys that I've talked to personally. I haven't talked to all of them, so I can't speak, but I'm assuming they're all pretty nice. Um, in Creeper Veritas or something like that. This is an L-Pack with Cursor Help. Have fun killing of the whatever you need fit in as an opponent. Uh, sorry for the lag. Urn fire is to blame. So <clears throat> it's going to be very laggy to begin with. Urns are going to be flying out. And there's two ways that I would approach this map in a quote-unquote normal setting. Uh, normal. There's no shield here, so I would say we could start here. The other way is to say this is the traditional start, so let's start here. And that's what we're going to do. We are going to start here traditionally. I am going to do a playthrough where I start here. I'm not going to do a playthrough where I just save up 30 eggs and nuke the base. Because it's something we can do, for sure. <laughs> no problems. But I think those two starting points are just fine and all we need. So let's just get this show on the road. I think I upgraded the stash instead of the emitter once. Holy moly, that's a little bit of a misplay right off the bat, but we already have our cursor active, which is good. And you know what, let's let's try and keep breeding this crimson. We already have some crimson. Seems pretty good to breed, you know. Crimson is the good stuff. It's the good good. So if we can breed it, let's breed it. Now that being said, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try not to do top down the entire time. We we've done cursor maps specifically. This is an L pack, you know, it's 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 a pack of the L. Um, so let's, let's just do whatever we can. See, now one thing is I don't think the cursor actually generates crimson. So, something to note. Something to note. Uh, we are going to grab a couple of these, like you, get out of here. You're next on the hit list, get out of here. No one likes you, Mortar. No one likes you. There we go. <laughs> Two Mortars down, feel pretty good. Another boost going in. And yeah, we're, we're just spreading. We're, we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. We're feeling pretty good about this whole situation. And we're going for a nice little border over here. Of course. Of course the cannons aren't going to let me. Of course. But you know, that's fine. That's fine. We'll do what we can. Just try and keep this mortar going. The mortars are generally the biggest problem. In, you know, in general. However, if we can sneak on back. That's right. That's an M rift going down. Oh, these two don't even know what's coming for them. What's coming for them is no power. Easy, easy mode. Uh, let's grab some more of those upgrades. Uh, that stash, I feel... Don't get me wrong, I like stashes to a degree when they're... when they're, You know, they, ha they have a use. Stashes do have a use. Um, as much as I like to badmouth stashes, you know, they do have a use. And we do have eggs, and we will be using eggs, of course. Uh, they're going to be very important very soon for some little minor things coming. But for now, we are just trying out things. But we also have mesh, and mesh is amazing. Because the first thing that we're going to mesh is we're going to take our mesh, and we're actually going to go over here. That's right. I think this is the most important thing. You mesh your stash. It makes your stash that much better. Plus, I should also say, we're going to extend it around this. You mesh around this. It flows into the mesh. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful combination, and everybody wins. That's right, everybody wins. And of course, our our main flow is going over here. So our main flow is coming down and going towards this kill squad, in essence. Now, one thing to note, all of these urns, if they get popped and destroy a unit, essentially, all of these urns are going to go elsewhere. So the less earned units we kill on this side of the map, the easier we actually make it on this side of the map. That being said... We kind of can't help but kill units, so we're going to kill them. But it's just a, it's just an interesting fact, I find. You know, it's like one of those where we're making it harder at the end by doing well at the beginning. So so there is a thing there. And, you know, I'm actually going to destroy this mesh over here. I don't want it to actually flow down there. I would much rather have it flow over in yonder direction. Ooh, look at that stash. That's, that is a good amount of creep. It's a good amount of creep, stash. You, you're done good. You should fill up a lot faster now as well. And our goal is to actually get our mesh over here. Because why cross at this point where there's a shield? When we can cross over here where there's no shield. And far less defenders. And some breedable terrain. Right? That's, 
That just sounds like a win-win-win, if you ask me. Win-win-win-win-win-win-win. At least, at least three or four wins. I'm very happy with three or four wins, if you ask me. So, let's get our win on. Let's fill up the mesh to the edge. I was waiting for that first. I don't even know how those trees are down there, but you know what? Good on them. They're super trees. And let's get going with some eggs, right? If we just toss, like, an egg right there, and we get our mesh tool out, we can hopefully pop it manually, and hopefully just do this meshy thing where the mesh must flow. It is indeed. Look at that. The mesh is indeed flowing. And now we can sort of toss down an egg over here, get some good, good, goods, let it flow even more. And now the mesh should, in theory, start over here. Now we do have some damaging units on the side. It's not perfect. It's not perfect by any means. But we can drop a couple rocks. I think, I think this area is pretty good for some rocks. Uh, it's saying that's the rock target. That's actually the one I wanted. Uh, there we go. Get rid of the earned units. Don't care about anything but the earned units uh, for now, because honestly, an unearned unit, not very hard to kill, right? We can literally just do that to a mortar, and it's dead. We can do that to a mortar, and it's probably going to die. Although, those, those bastards up there. Oh my god, they have such range. Such incredible range. <laughs> now, one problem with this right here, this totem, it's a super good totem, because... We have no way to do it, or to break it, without the spore launcher. And that's a shame. That is very much a shame. Uh, we never will be able to break it, unfortunately, uh, without that. But we do have blobos now. We have four upgrades. Let's get a couple of blobs, right? Let's 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 start working on the blobs. Uh, and look, I mean, we've already gained some decent power with our cursor, which is actually good, because we can start to come in the backside of this, which is very helpful. Um, we can keep this side down. Come on, stay down. And, ooh, there's a little crimson pool right here. Nice. Oh, look at that. We can just make... We can make crimson. Oh, baby. Now, if we move, will this be crimson? Will this be crimson? See how it's, like, uncrimsoning as we move? That's the problem that I have. The fact that we it uncrimsons, kind of a shame. Like, I wish we could just make crimson and then move as crimson. But no, we have to move as blue. We have to move as blue. It is a big shame. Uh, this area is doing fine. We can now disrupt this, because I do kind of want some spores. Uh, odd to say, right? I want some spores. But I would love to be able to shut these points down, because they are sort of key guarding zones. Again, we can go around it. If we get to here, we can go around the side. It's it's just another it's just another area that we have to get through, of course. Uh, where else? I mean, they're being connected up over here. If we... Can we... No. Actually, can we... Yeah, we can. We can apparently out DPS... Boom. There we go. That's nice. Again, we're just trying to take over the uh, the main aisle, I guess you could call it. So, put this here. Apparently it's strong enough as is. And there we go. Let's get rid of those two. Thank you very much. You die. You die. And you die. And the first island is ours. Uh, yeah, let's, let's egg up, right? We are starting to push over here. It is getting stronger. Uh, let's get a little bit more creep. And, yeah, this this side, it's it's not pushing, pushing, but it's it, it exists, right? Well, let's just destroy those because they're being built. Never like them when they're being built. It's never, never fun. Uh, but see, we, we cannot even cursor into this. We definitely have to rock and egg. And definitely, if I'm going to rock something, I want to rock the earned units, right? I don't care about these little baddie ones. Uh, so let's, let's just drop, I don't know, like most a, a big bunch of eggs right get them get them popping get them prepared for what's to come uh hopefully holy moly uh i was this egg these eggs are the most important the ones that i should actually put most of them in the crimson that would have been wise so now we're popping all of our eggs we're doing some damage now the crimson is holding out which is what's important now we're getting some damage behind. We've actually shut these off from power, which is awesome. <laughs> and essentially we've taken this area, which does give us our lovely friends. Friends, countrymen, creepers. Destroy this nullifier. Thank you, Jamie. Uh And in eight seconds, we are going to have a breeding time. So let's get this breeding for us, right? I mean, bazinga. That's a breeding right there. Ooh. Gotta love it. And that's an M-Rift. That's going down, too. So, again, 
We're able, we're able to shut some things off. We're able to adjust the power supply. Now, shutting this area off entirely, not going to be the easiest, of course. Uh, but look at this. We are able to, uh, to shut this area. And once the main creep gets through, the crimson is not go is going to flow, right? We can't flow the crimson, but this flow can flow the crimson, and that's what's important. Uh, let's grab some more spores. Not necessarily the best early upgrade, per se, but they fire pretty fast, right? And all we need is one to hit over here eventually. We don't need it right away, but eventually. And that's going to just help us out, right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty solid. It's going to be good. We can flow some stuff into the crimson and make it grow. Look at that crimson. Oh, yeah. just just grow the crimson. That's all I'm doing for us for a hot second. They can't they can't stand against the power of the crimson. Oh yes, that's how we do it. We can't flow the crimson, but if we grow on the crimson, mm, that's another story entirely, right? Feels pretty good. Uh, let's even mesh up to here because if we can get the mesh to connect, we should be able to go through the crimson itself natively, and that should help. Uh, this side again. It's holding, but now that it's actually through the crimson, now we're actually getting some serious progress, right? We can we can start to maybe do some surrounds. I do love the combination of the two. Uh, we can even rock. Let's rock you. I would love to rock you and you and you and you. So I want to rock those four. Uh, mostly, honestly, cannons are the worst to be earned. An earned mortar, annoying. An earned cannon, deadly. Right? Because they just blow up whatever's near them. An Urn Mortar is always, like, delayed, especially for a cursor. So I always find it significantly better to destroy the cannons. Those four cannons would have prevented me from doing all of this. Whereas, because we're doing what we're doing, we're good. We're in the money, so to speak. And get rid of you. Get rid of you. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so let's let's finish off over here. Now again, just like before, we can take the main path, which would be over here, or we can cross, say, over here and start to work and free our other emitter friend, which I think is what we're gonna do. We're trying to cross on, you know, important locales for us, not for them. So I'm actually gonna take our our meshitude. We're actually going to start going this away with it. That away. And again, we have some upgrades. I can get more spores. I can get more blobs. I think we just need a bit more on the way of creep production for now. Not too much. I want to get to like 500. Actually, no, I should have saved it for this event. What am I, what am I thinking? Oh my gosh, I'm a fool. I'm already playing the fool. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Let's just see how we're looking top down. Get some, get it, get a surround on this again. You want to surround your little breeding pools and cover to the edge. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I'm gonna pause while we do a few egg pods. Uh, so we're gonna egg up uh, like so. Now with these eggs, I'm gonna rock and rock and rock. Now these three should get the three. Uh, earned units. I'll even try for that one, but that one probably won't work. Uh, but these are the important ones, and we need some in space. So we're going to toss two in space, because our goal will be to do some meshitudes. So bazinga, bazanga, get the mesh going all the way across. We did get the earned units, which is amazing, and we got the nullifier, and we got our cursor over here. It just works. <laughs> How's this doing? It's a 60 every 0.5, so it's not a faster emitter. It's not actually a better emitter, which is very good to know. If it was a better emitter, I would have felt bad, to be fair, um, because clearly we uh, we did not really care about that. But thanks to, again, us taking more space, that means our cursor can... Holy crap, our cursor is getting strong. Uh, it is actually doing some serious work. Uh, I think we gotta go top down for this a little bit. Now, thankfully, unlike AC, you can sort of see where the map cursor is. I mean, it's, it's the trail of Big Blue. So, I'm not super worried about it. Although, I think it is time to do some more. Rock, rock, and... Ooh, I guess rock, yeah. So, we do three rocks, of course. Uh, allow this to start moving. And once we sort of get in range of any of these cannons, boom, that's an earned cannon gone. Just boom, that's an earned cannon gone. And I want to get that third one. Oh, it's so, so slow with the AC. Oh, it didn't pop. Oh, it did. Yeah, third, 
gone. Beautiful. That's all I cared about. Again, toss that out. Get rid of you. And yeah, we're we're just we're just chilling right now. We're feeling pretty good. We'll keep this one growing a little bit. Get this one a little bit higher so this area starts to starts to proceed as planned. And look at that, a free emrift. Who's gonna say no to a free emrift? I mean, of course, there is a cannon there. Oh no, it's not even earned. <laughs> Poor cannon. Uh, you probably you might have been one of the ones to get an urn had you uh, had we killed the rest of the earned units. Oh. Isn't that a shame? Uh, but there goes the emerald. The cannon just doesn't even know what to do. It's like completely surrounded. And we have a breeding ground. And of course we don't want them to have the breeding ground, right? This is this is ours. You know, we are the breeders here, not them. So yeah, feels feels pr honestly, this cursor feels super good. I am not gonna complain whatsoever with the power of this cursor ever. Uh, no AC to speak of for that unit but look at this just just the wave of creep coming over the land getting the breed going on and is that the only ac breeding i think so i think there will be no ac breeding other than this and that now that that's not a problem right We're, we'll be able to handle that um and honestly ooh, can, can we go one step further we were to say rock. You know, I'm not even gonna rock. I'm not gonna rock. Uh, I am gonna toss down a couple of eggs over here, just to sort of spread my creepy presence, because I want this emerald, and I'm gonna try and just cut this area off and see what happens. So let's just see how that goes. If we uh, fill this in. Oh, no. Bring this on down. Oh my gosh, the cursor is now. We just shift our cursor mode to this side that is right oh emrift you're doing such work you're supplying the entire economy and you're gone sorry emrift oh no this is a lot harder in non-top down mode i will say getting it the right location uh but there we go we get just a tiny bit at the top feels feels pretty good we don't want to go all the way to the top because then everything will of course shoot us from the top but Bazinga. Oh, no, that was not the Bazinga I knew I wanted. That's the Bazinga I wanted. There we go. There she blows. And that is just another earned unit that's been causing me strife, right? Uh, we also took out the connection over here. So we're slowly getting rid of the connections on the side. And actually, the breeding zone on the other side has swapped back to AC, which I don't like that. Okay, I definitely don't want that to be the case. Uh, but... We are also in the process. Uh, ooh, 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 there's a lot of units around. We just need to take out these two. So if we can, we can survive this. That's just huge for us, right? Boom, boom. Oh, they rebuilt. Oh, they rebuilt the connection on this side. That's fine. That's fine. They rebuilt this connection, so we're gonna super stop them because we got a lot of eggs. So if we just do that. Buzzing good. Keep the egg juice flowing. This should cut it off. Boom. And keep it flowing on this side. Oh. Don't let that pylon get built. Please. Thank you. Whew. There we go. No more power. The, uh, the mesh shall flow. And then we can we can get back what we want on the other side, right? Uh, that's not a problem, especially with those units not having power. Uh, it it doesn't matter anymore. There's nothing they can do. We have taken this. It's a little gain. It's a little gain. It does slow down, but because of the mesh, it will flow through. So most glorious, most glorious. Uh, loads of upgrades to go over here, and this should help us get back. There goes a huge amount of their red on. You know that was well over a hundred red on. And yeah, we're just gonna take over this area yet again. Now we held it for a little while, and I think we'll be able to hold it for a little longer this time, because I am going to mesh down this time. I didn't mesh down, I should've. Would've been the, the wiser thing to do. Um, but yeah, we'll just we'll just take this. We can, even though they just bred, her cursor is so freaking strong. 
Who even cares? Who even cares anymore? We could just do this as a pure cursor map, but that's not what we're doing. This is a hybridized map. So we're not going pure cursor. We're not just going to like plop an egg over there and completely take them out. We, we, we got this. We got this, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it creepy ways. Creepy style. Uh, maybe we will pop an egg over there just to get over there at some point. Um, but not quite yet. Look at this. Look at the creep. The creep flows. Oh my gosh, it flows good. Oh, look at that. We. Oh. <laughs> and that should all be most. Uh, no, see, look. Even though most of it is not crimson, but there is some crimson. There is some. So I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Uh, the AC is mostly drained from this island, though, which is awesome. And yeah, with the AC gone. A lot of their just little defenses. So we'll take over the rest of this. I want the mesh to flow because once the mesh flows to here, then I'll feel okay with using my eggs, right? Again, just want to do it proper. Just want to make sure we're 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 not we're not limiting ourselves, but we are limiting ourselves, you know. Uh, let's go a little top down. Kill a couple of units that are just being annoying. And what else do we want? Do we want more more blobs? Do we want more? I mean. Spores? More spores? More creep? I don't think we need more creep, honestly. I think I'm just going to do more spores. I'm, I want to be able to make sure, like, these get destroyed all the time. Right? So I think that's going to be important. Uh, blobs? They'll be fun. Spores will only get better as the map goes on. They'll be fairly useless until later on, of course. Uh, but look at that. We do have the space for some big ol' egg gains, right? Some big, big, big egg gains. And we're going to do some big egg games. That's right. I'm very, very, very frugal with my eggs and things. But not now. We Saving for the massive bomb attack. Ooh. That should be pretty good. I think that should be a pretty good surround of these. I wish I could put one either in the middle or down here. It is a shame, but guess what? We're going to have we're gonna have a cursor for that. We're going to have a cursor for that. So let's just see. Let's just start popping all of our eggs. Let's get our mesh going. And yeah, let's uh, let's just see what happens. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna go very well for them. Uh, and look at that cursor. Oh, cursor, you're doing. Oh no, they have no more air. Oh no, and we've just crossed into them, right? I mean, it's backdoor door friends. They are the best. So we've just crossed into their back door, and thankfully, again, most of the urns have sort of gone into these units. So this area, not very earned, you know, not very earned at all. So anything that we sort of gain here is is just victory, is just win. So yeah, we might even be able to keep it moving along to this dark tower. I think. I mean, we'll keep. Well, of course we will keep going. But if our mesh can reach this end, let's just let's just keep the train going. Uh, with that in mind, though, I do want to take out some of the land, right? So maybe we'll try and cut this in half a little bit. Take out some AC. Do they have any breeder up there? They do. Mm -mm -mm. Do we want another crossing point? Why not, right? Uh, we can we can make this one a hundred. I'll make it get it to a hundred at least. A hundred is sort of a, a minimum. You know, so this is a very, very minor number. But we can also cross over here. Uh, I think I should probably cross a little bit more, because I don't think you can mesh onto that. Uh, but we can get our mesh on over. Uh, oh, beautiful. beautiful. We'll mesh on over. This will be. This is way too much mesh. Uh, mesh, please destroy. Thank you, thank you. Not that, not that. Yeah, just like that. Beautiful. Uh, get out of here. Get out of here, you two. I'm trying to mesh. Sometimes I just, they just don't listen. I will say, one really nice thing about the cursor is it allows for easy mesh placement because you can only place mesh under creep, right? Well, how about I place mesh here? Boom, there's creep or mesh. It's beautiful. It's a lovely combination. And we have filled to this side. That side is almost filled, so we're doing pretty good. We're gonna, we're gonna do another eggy drop, right? So boop, boop, boop. And just a couple on this side, right? We don't need too many. That's actually probably more than enough, uh, especially, again, with the cursor action that we're doing. And bazinga bazanga, we've meshed a new pathway. We're just sort of carving up the map, right? We're, we're moving along. Not super fast, not super fast. But if you notice, that's a, that's a breeding spot, right? There's no other breeding spot that I see here. 
here, here, no breeding spots of AC. So from, that's it for this entire zone. So if we control this, theoretically all AC will drop. And it will drop from here, it'll drop from our salt over here. We'll probably continue on this way and make a line on either side. It's kind of, kind of a really nice thing. Uh, so I'm very, very happy for that. We have nice meshy pads going everywhere. Uh, yeah, it feels, feels good. So this will handle, I, I guess we want to move on this side though. So let's go to like one, two, I think all we really need is two. And we'll do something like that all the way over. Again, more eggs than we need, but I don't care. You know, there, there's a time for caring about every individual egg. And there's a time for just using them when you got them. Oh dear, oh dear. Again, we want to place the mesh all the way to the point where we take this corner. So that is super important. That way, not only will we are we like destined to never lose the corner, but also anything that's produced in the corner goes into the mesh. So it's sort of double duty yet again. Ooh, they're actually fighting this area back. No, you're not. No, you're not. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna get our dark tower, and it's going to be glorious. So again, now. I mean, don't get me wrong, they do still have, I am sure, some uh, sprayers. Sprayers will still be producing. So there is that on their side. And that's okay. That's okay. Sprayers are fine. Uh, but we have a dark tower. And we have some upgrades. We have six upgrades. That's not bad. That's not bad, if you ask me. And that dark tower is not a terrible radius so far. So that feels pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Let's let's get rid of you. They do have a lot of beacons around it. And that's fine. Let them have a lot of beacons because you know what this dark tower. I think I think we're gonna we're gonna expand it up a wee little bit. Let's even let's even do that now. Let's just give it six. Uh just like that. Just boom. Oh no. Did I break the game? Boom! Oh yes! See, that was the goal, was to expand past the uh, many of the beacons. So, we just shoot one in there. I don't even care about meshing down here, I just want this beacon gone. And yeah, that's that's a lot of darkness. That's a lot of darkness. Again, we'll just toss one in there. It's gonna suck for them. You know, they're gonna they're gonna try and destroy it, but we're gonna we're gonna oh, is the cursor not work in space. Ew, the cursor doesn't work in space, you say. Interesting. I had no idea. The more you know. Uh, but thankfully, we can just egg like that, and now we're on this side. Mm, feels feels real bad. Oh, no. Oh, wow, there is, there is a breeding ground right there. Okay, we're going to take that. It's in the darkness. Oh, the darkness. Uh, and even though there's still no power coming to these because the darkness expanded so very much. So, yeah, that, that just kind of sucks just kind of sucks for them. Once we get this, all things are gone. And, you know, while we can expand the darkness even more, I think the darkness kind of did its job here, uh, cutting this off. I don't necessarily care to cut off the entirety of the map. I think this is a pretty good darkness win. As you can see, look, the AC, it's just crumbling on the side. Crumbling! Um, and I think we want to take the stash, right? The stash is sort of prime location to be taken. So I think that's where we want to be. We want this stash. And once we take that, I think the rest of this area kind of just falls. Um, that being said, where is power coming from and where is power going, right? Because, you know, they, they are getting up. Wow, this, this cursor is getting ridiculous. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ooh, super stash. Look at it. Look at how fast that stash fills up. Oh my gosh, that stash. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, power is flowing from around here, right? Right there. So if we... Is, is this a prime cutoff? Do we, do we have the ability? Is that what we need? Actually, speaking of that, some mesh to this bad boy. Keep that mesh going. Uh, and you know what? 
Let's turn him on. Let's turn him on. You know? Get out of here. That's a friendo. That's a friendo in need. We're not going to leave him behind. There we go. You're welcome, friendo. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Oh my god, there's another one there. I missed all the breeding spots in my initial assessment. I am terrible at this game. Um, but say we got a cursor. It's moving very slowly because I'm not in top down. But I'm trying to keep a better, more pointed view of the map. Oh dear. Uh, we got rocks. Don't even care. Don't even care. Doesn't even matter. I mean, look at this. We're just going to go to the top, hold it here for a second. Fine. Yeah. Look at that. Done and dusted. There's the no more AC. And again. Uh, I want to get rid of this pylon. And again, most importantly, we are coming this way to get rid of the M rift. <laughs> Painting a picture in blue. Oh. oh, it feels so good. Oh, that feels good. Okay, so that is another area just gone, right? There's nothing they're going to do now. It is completely gone. The skimmers are coming, and you know what? Skimmers, just do your thing. I believe that's going to cut down the uh, cooldown to 20 seconds. That's exactly what we want to see as well. Uh, let's see. Ooh, 11 in that. Yeah, it doesn't even have a cooldown counter, so that should be as good of a skim as we can get. And I think, I think we're, I think we're solid. Uh, Meshitude, we do want to mesh entirely around this, so let's make sure this is completely surrounded. Uh, it will help not only the stash, but also anything that comes out of that will be meshed. Uh, might as well connect that up just to have that connection. And yeah, the rest is, the rest is history. Might as well connect that up. Again, a connection. But yeah, the rest of the map is history. So where are we crossing this? Obviously, we can cross right here. That's not a bad spot. Uh, we do want to get to this. We do want to get to... There's a spot there. There's a spot down here. So we do have some very key areas in order to... Uh, to get some mesh going. Or some... Some spraying going? I mean, not necessarily spraying, but... Uh, I don't even know. Uh, boom, boom. Get a couple of those, get our mesh on. Again, spread in space, spread like that, and the mess mesh shall flow. So now we have our in to the next aisle. Uh, slightly dark, but not too dark. But we're not gonna yeah, we're not gonna take all day expanding. Honestly speaking, this is going because of the strength of the cursor, this is going faster than expected. So this might actually be on similar speed with the other method, because the other method is a little slow. You know, your cursor never gets that powerful. It is quite powerful, but never that powerful. No, the other, the other method should be faster. It should still be faster. Um, so we will see. After this playthrough, if there is another one, which, fingers crossed, um, will be fine. As we can see, look at all of these earned units over here. We don't care about them. We don't care. We're just, we're just going to march on in. There's nothing they can do. We're going to take our friend back. And yeah, they're gonna they're just gonna sort of sit on it and uh, and spin a little bit. So there we go, Bazinga. Let's let's get our friend. Let's take the mountain. Let's get the AC out of here. Ooh yeah. That's what we want to see. That's already doing 240, which is pretty substantial. I mean, it's not clearly it is surrounded by a lot of earned units, and you know what? Ooh, I want to save my eggs for over here. I think. I, look at all these. Like, I think I want to just earn the or uh, like rock this entire thing. Like, just bazinga. Like, let's just start placing now. We'll get here soon. I just want all of these to lose a freaking urn. Um, when the time comes, I don't even care what, as long as it's in their last base and it loses an urn. Uh, that's kind of the plan that we're gonna do in the other mood as well. Not the other mood, I guess, but you know, our other go. Um. But yeah, let's let's fr super free our friend. Let's grab it a couple more boosts, since it is going to be the key emitter in the other run, of course. Oh dear. 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 Oh
dear, oh dear, they just can't stand up to the monstrous force that we hold. Now again, we don't want this AC breed, right? I want this AC to definitely die out. Uh, I definitely want to sort of cut them off here. That's kind of my goal right now. I'm trying to cut off this section. So, as you can see, we're sort of spreading around. We've cut off one side, and if we just cut out a couple more towers, like that tower, and this next one right there, that's gonna, that's gonna do some damage. That's gonna do some damage. Like, watch this, just in a second. Don't make me a liar. Don't have an M-Rift over there. Don't connect from the other side. No, I didn't know they could connect from the other side. Oh, jeez. I was a complete liar. Uh, Alright, other side. It's your turn. Do your thing. Boom. And let's... Oh, no, no, no. Come on. No, no, no. Get the boom. The big bada boom. Of course, we have to now redo what we just did, which is going to take a little bit longer than I expected because, of course, it will. Of course, it will. But that's okay. That's okay. You know, the the best things are worth the wait, right? So we'll redo this, recut off to here, cut off like this, recome back up here so they don't put down another tower, just like that. And now we'll bring it down, bring it down, bring it down and over. You can't stop me. You can't stop the endless supply of eggs. Uh, eggs. Well, speaking of eggs, you know, let's just, let's just do it. Beautiful. Oh, eggs. You help so much. You spread. And that's all we wanted. Right? Just this area. Now complete. What's the rest of the map looking? Ooh, speaking of the rest of the map. Uh, I think... I think we have a little a little area that we can sort of uh, do some goodness in. So let's just do a little bit here. And this corner, I think. I think, I think, I think. Well, that sounds pretty good to me, if you ask. Uh, again, mesh on up. Mesh on over. Bazinga bazanga. And, yeah, there we go. A little bit more mesh, just so it can cross as easily as possible. But, uh, air sex. You're terrible. But how, who can resist you? Uh, you're, I mean, they're amazing when there's no snipers and no uh, missiles. <laughs> there is that for the air sack. Um, holy moly. How did the AC push this all back? Wait, 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 wait. How did this side get pushed back so hard? They're, the units were literally out of power. They didn't even have... Well, what just happened here? Is it because I just didn't mesh it up enough? Like, well, let's get our mesh going on. I mean, I should have done this earlier, don't get me wrong, but still, I, I, I don't feel like that should have died the way it did. Uh, I'm also surprised that this area is... Was that mesh just not going to Oh, wow, the mesh over there just completely dominated them. Okay, well, that works. That's how you do it. Ugh, Ugh that's gross. Sickens me how poorly that is. Um, but let's take a look at the AC. It's been, I've been in top down for way too long, right? Way too long top down. Uh, are we going to get another one? Yeah, we'll get another one with that. So we'll. Boom. There we go. We'll get one more. That'll be fine. And let's, let's just actually finish what we started. We need to come over here. We need to stop this AC. This AC is definitely out of hand. It is not what we want to see. So. Crap, our cursor is so strong! And because our cursor is literally just a mountain of creep, we are going to take the front door. We're not going to take any side doors, we're not going to do any cheats. We're literally taking the front door, because you know what, that's just out of respect what they deserve. Right? We, we respect them, and they deserve it. So... But that being said, we also need to eliminate this breeder right here. This thing. You. You, senior breeder, must go. Get out of here. Oh, there we go. 
Alright, so that should, I mean, that will be breeding for them still, don't get me wrong. They still have AC here. They're, they're gonna take it back, without a doubt. But for now, but for now, it is breeding for us. And we can paint the rest of the world. Now, we have 30 eggs. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that. We're just gonna plop them all on that side. I know, I know it's a little slight lazy. I know, I know. It's a little silly. But I just want that area to just get just a, a load of creep. And that when the eggs are next to each other like that, they bounce around. So they're they're just going to be good. Right? I mean, we're starting to take this area over the entire side. Go around the edge more so than anything else. Because I don't want any of these connection points. Uh, this side. You know what? There's an Emmerft over here. Uh, ooh. Ooh. We can't get through... Even our cursor can't get through. Okay, we'll come. We'll come from this side. It's fine. It's fine. Boom! 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 It is so very good. Just, just the, just the massive amount of creep that we produce is insanity. There we go. That feels pretty. Good. That closes the loop on the side. Uh, we literally eliminated all of their AC just with that. So, yeah, that, that feels really, really strong. And again, we, we can just do some work here. Eliminate all the AC, why not? Such a path. Now, where are the emeralds over here? This is the next goal, right? So we just come down here. We make it through. There is a lot of AC here, as you can see. So again, they just can't stop us, though, right? So there's nothing they can do. We're coming over. I definitely see an emerald on this path. Now, is that the only one? I don't think so, and that's the shame. That's the shame of it. But that's okay. We will, we will eliminate more, of course. Uh, our monster flow. Actually, I should, I should pop these. Oh. A crimson spot, you say? I can't even look at it. It's just a crimson blob now. Oh, a crimson spot is very, very deadly. Um, and yeah, I think there was an emerald somewhere over there. I want to say. Uh, and let's just take it to the corner. Hold your corners, hold your walls. Always a good time. And last but not least, there is an emerald somewhere up here. So if we follow the packets, they're coming around, like around here-ish. Where are you going? Packets. Uh, is there one down here? No, no, no. So these packets are coming from up here. Mm -hmm. Is it just that one? I mean, if we just do a little bit of that action. Is that it? No, there's still more. Still more. So this is being restocked by over here, which is fine. We can we can deal with that very easily. Oh, that was it. That was it. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, the spores ever hit this back here? It didn't. It's okay, spore. It's okay. Uh, I forgive you. I forgive you, spore. Uh, I mean, we gotta finish with, with the big boys, right? Just get them going. Just get them going. We're up to ten big boys. The eggs popped. Not that much creep. Well, I mean, that's, that's a decent amount of creep. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but, you know, comparatively, not like all the creep in the world. Uh, so let's let's start busting on the... Knocking on the front door. See what happens. Oh, the spike is so big. Yeah, actually, that, that egg wave, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Maybe like a 7 or 8 out of 10. Uh, 
all of the eggs in here. Uh, rocks. Yeah, let's let's just toss in our rocks. I want them to just destroy whatever they can. Insta destruction. Uh, five more rocks can go down. Any place you can fit. Keep the pressure going. And the walls should soon fall. Well, we do want this to stay where they cannot make more. Nice. Oh, I think I think that's it. We are officially in. Oh, it is go time. And we're about to go on a little exploration of eggs and rocks. Oh, and let them all go. Oh, the eggs are so big too. <laughs> ah, it's so beautiful. It is so very beautiful. So here we go. We're going top down just to, again, kill everything. Um, oh no, lasers. New lasers. New lasers. New no lasers. Punk your lasers. And there we go. We've infiltrated their base. We Oh, they have a little, little AC breeder right there. I don't think so. Uh, let's... Rocks of things. Uh, oh. Take some things? Yeah. And take that out. And that should be the end of the road. Oh dear. Get rid of their power, of course. You, know, you, you, you can't just go straight for the base. The base is holding on. It's trying. We're getting this around, though. It still have some good AC over here, too. Impressive. Super, super covered the map, though. 37 minutes, not, actually not that bad. I thought this was going to be a lot, lot. I thought this was going to be, like, a two-hour map. So, <laughs> that cursor got way out of hand, way fast. Um, what, the ball falls slower in creep now? I thought they always fell at the same speed. Wild. Oh, is that uh, the blob? I thought the blob was going to get the hit, but it targeted something else. Aw, uh, and poor little... Oh, my gosh, the creep is so high. So this has been the creep that could L-pack. I am going to say uh, there may or may not be an addendum to this video based on time. It has been a little bit. So I'm going to say, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If the video keeps going on, please feel free to stick around. There we go. Let's see how we did. You know, not... Not the best, definitely not the best. Five minutes, that's definitely an eggy, eggy strat. And I really like just the method, the methodology, uh, methodological, methodical, methodical, that's the word, methodical nature of us taking this over. Um, so yeah, uh, that is the map. So please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to say take care here, but if the, if the video continues, feel free to keep watching, to see how it goes starting from that center spot. And we're going. So a little, a little balls right there, just in case. Got to cut it. You know, do some editing. That. But let us see if we are starting from the center spot. This is the danger zone, right? So the big key for starting with the center spot. This area, not hard. Now this area right here, is guaranteed to get urns first this this little surround here so this area gets very very difficult that's the key that we're gonna have and that's what we're gonna have to deal with so we don't actually want to follow mesh right away we kind of want to take over the entire first island now of course we do want to free our friendo so of course we are going to start with freeing the friendo uh, it will take a few eggs, and that's okay. There we go. Friendo is officially freed. We have four upgrades, and we're starting at a 200. -er. As you can see, we start at 200, which is actually quite nice. And that's going to also, we're also going to say mesh, uh, destroy, just destroy around it for now. So let's do that. Gives us a little bit of creep, too, which is actually kind of nice. When you destroy mesh, 
Uh, apparently a tiny bit of creep comes out, which is very, very cool. Now we do have a little babby cursor as well. Not that much. It's not that powerful. It's not going to be that useful for us while completely surrounded like this. But that doesn't mean it's not useful whatsoever, right? I mean, it can help, you know, wee little bits. Uh... Actually, where's the best place? Like, right here. Like, we can probably kill this mortar thanks to the cursor. So, very, very cool. Just, just, it's just, might just be one thing. But one thing at a time adds up, right? One mortar down. One mortar over here down. One MRF down. That's, that's pretty substantial for our little cursor. Now, the problem that we already have is the rocks cometh. Or the urns cometh, I should say. So, we want to earn, or rock, essentially, all of the cannons. Again, the cannons are literally the worst things in the world uh so we want to we want to start popping some of those pop like that one as well oh that's that's an upgrade i want upgrades over there i want rocks over here and look at that you can see the urns coming in right so let's let's get that one too. feels pretty good we did stop a fair bit of them and because we we got a couple of them and we rocked the rest we're kind of in a position where we can hold as you can see the rocks are or the urns are literally coming in for all of these units. It's just what it does. So it makes the start a little difficult, right? So any unit that we can kill, so if we can get this one, which, again, cannons are the worst, but with the cursor just kind of on it, you can kind of make it out. Now, it is a much slower start as well, because, again, we are completely surrounded here. There's really nothing that we can officially do other than let the creep flow. We can start to use mesh very, very soon, but I want to take out a fair few of these earned units first, just to allow the, just to prevent them from actually taking this back. Because earned units do have the capacity and the wherewithal to take what is yours. And I don't like that. I don't like them taking my things. You know, that is just very, very rude. I'm here to take their things. So yeah, we're not, we're not gonna abide by that whatsoever. Uh, we are going to take this area out, and it should be fine. Should be fine. I do want to start using some eggs, too, because we do want to get down here. Uh, we want to essentially, again, shut off all of their uh, their ability to generate AC. AC, pretty powerful. Pretty powerful stuff. Um, so, thankfully, though, we're producing quite a bit. I think we should start to kill this one very, very soon. Again, every earned unit is a is a victory. So I'll just I'll just use it on that one. Get rid of that one, which should again help with killing this one. We've essentially freed most of the circle over here, which is awesome. Very, very cool. Super fan of that. So gotta love it. And then we're gonna we're gonna branch out, right? We're gonna we're gonna do what we need to do. Uh, just a very good thing is that when you see this urn pop out, right? This urn right there, it's popping out. It's going back. It's going over here somewhere. It's not staying near us. It's not like for the closest one first. So that is very good news for us as well. So this should be able to get another one. Uh, we have another rock for that one, let's say. And basically, once we get that one, I think we're I think we're in a pretty good spot. Pretty good spot to really branch out. Again, we could just save up all of our eggs and super egg blast them. Uh, we're not doing that. We're going to Egg Blast over here. I want to sort of take this in one go, but I want our emitter to be freed first. And I'm trying to do the emitter freeing without eggs currently. Uh, because, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a thing. It's kind of a thing. Um, we could also... It, it might be viable to take some of the initial land. Um, so that is another option. I actually should, should not swap with this. Because I the one thing I didn't try okay good. we are we are earned out we are earnless we are free of the urn and we're gonna start with going for this um because we while this is a, a semi cheese because we're starting in the center i don't want to necessarily again i'm not I'm just gonna egg over here we're gonna take over this island and then the base um over here we i think i think i maybe will do a little egging just to sort of take a little bit of land right if we can take this corner I'm just gonna be happy with that right not too much you know not not like the full the full thing of the world but if we can just take some of this land and hold it thanks to the stash and things like that i'll just be happy with that to be honest with you right uh that's more land that we hold it's more power 
It's more generation with our cursor, which will help against the AC, of course. Uh, and it will allow us to mesh over here. So mesh, mesh, mesh. Again, we just want to mesh up to the stash and the core. So mesh up, mesh up, and if this can now just hold, which maybe it will, maybe it won't, I have no idea. I, I, did, I didn't do any of that in testing. Um, but you know what, though? Maybe it'll work. Maybe. I don't, I don't want to upgrade it, though. I, I just want it to sort of hopefully live on its own while this bad boy gets upgraded. Now that, look at this, the mesh is already working. Uh, and what's also awesome is this, because we have a cursor, mesh pushing is a real, real thing, right? So we can literally... Uh -oh, mesh destroy you. You. I don't. I don't want the mesh just to expand quite yet. Uh, but I do want to mesh push right. So we're just going to come on down here and super mesh push away. Uh, as you can see, look, we are just coming for it and we're spreading our mesh. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing because our cursor spreads the mesh. So look at look at us move. Right. We're five minutes in. Feels pretty good. And it's time. To super mesh up right we're gonna, we're gonna egg 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 we're gonna do a big old eggy surround and a couple eggs inside should have ah, crap i should have done it four seconds ago uh that was entirely my fault wasn't even looking at the time that was very poorly played on my part because yeah they literally just bred up a whole bunch of ac i guess we did stop the breeding but yeah that was that was poor play i'm sorry my my good run is is doomed but i'll take some doom i'll take some doom and gloom that's perfectly fine as you can see we are literally taking this over uh and before we finish we want to again keep make sure this bad boy is good make sure our eggs are spread uh and yes make sure our mesh is golden so i don't really care about holding this forever uh well, i mean i kind of do but I, I don't care about it as much. As long as they're not going to be able to sort of take back the whole thing, that's really all that I care about. So as long as we get through most of it, I'm pretty happy. Like getting down here, getting these few units right around it should be good. Maybe getting this cannon too. The problem is these mortars, look at how far away they shoot. They shoot for miles. Freaking miles. So those mortars definitely, definitely don't like that. But... Yeah, we, we've taken there. We've taken there. Next on the list, we're just going to go to the wall, right? We're going we're gonna to take our wall set. Keep your walls in mind. Always good to take your walls. So we can just come on up here. Again, no earned units. No earned units. No real major problem. The mesh should just spread. Uh, the mesh will take it to the wall. Uh, we have an upgrade. Use your upgrade. Use your mesh. We're going to save our rocks for the end. Uh, we're now in sort of some saver mode? Saver mode? Uh, I don't know. But we're cutting stuff off. We've cut, officially cut this in half, which is good. Oh, that mortar. I should I should have moved from the mortar. It's like the cannons can't destroy this, but the mortar can, of course. So, definitely the problem there. Uh, but again, we'll, we'll destroy this. Get rid of you. That feels pretty good. Again, we're just we're just cutting stuff off, you know. It's, it's the way it's the way of the creep. Uh, they are now out of power. They are out of juice. The AC, look, we we actually control the AC. It's ours permanently. Uh, they are taking it back like to the edge, and that's fine. To the edge, I don't care about. They can take it to the edge all they want as long as they don't actually control it. That's all that I care about. You can see the AC draining naturally. So yeah, that's. That's what we want to see. Emrift gone, just to, just to impede him. Doesn't actually do anything for us. Uh, and our next target is this bad boy, right? We're, we're targeting. We're trying to move along. Again, this could be faster. We, again, you can just use eggs. You can make... We can go straight for it. But I really wanted to take this entire island to do it sort of a cheesy yet kind of proper way is the way that I'm kind of putting it in my head. Cheesy yet proper. I mean, I don't even know what that means. Uh... But let's do some of this. We're at about 12 seconds to go. 12 seconds is not too bad. Uh, we'll do some of this. And you know what? We'll even connect up the mesh over here. I didn't even realize that the mesh kind of wrapped around this. So we'll, we'll, double, we'll double joint this. Feels pretty good if you ask me. And we will just mesh a uh, tube up. Now we have just a few seconds. Ooh. 
They did a much better job at handling all of that than I thought. How big is the AC over there now? Actually, not that much. I'm surprised they were able to handle it as well as they could. I thought with the cursor and everything else, they would the mesh would have won. But apparently, I was wrong. It happens from time to time. So let's uh, let's let's do some things about that. Right? We can easily push in this. Which again, the more pressure we put on all sides, the better. You know, it's one of those you surround them. They're they're not having fun. Uh, so let's make sure they're not having fun, and we can have all the fun we want to have. Again, these guys now dead, gone forever. Sorry, does kind of suck. These two, these mortars, able to kind of rein in on the edges. So let's 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 eliminate them from the equation. No more for you two. Uh, thankfully, our cursor is strong enough. We can just chill here, take some out. It's a good all time. Uh, same thing, the next one. Oh, dear. What are you? Oh, you're just another one. You have three mortars firing. Three should be enough, but it isn't. It is not enough. So, yeah, I mean, our cursor, it's not overbearingly strong, right? We're not making the waves to end the universe. But we are able to sort of hold our own. And that's, I think, what's important right that it can hold its own again we take out this tower that dies that dies we push better right we take out every time we take out one thing we push better we take out this mortar we push better we took a take out this cannon we push better we get to this we have free breeding uh, i have seven upgrades holy crap i am talking way too much and not paying attention to all of my tools seven upgrades huge i mean that's uh, that's a huge increase the amount of creep that's coming out right so yeah i'm not going to complain about that either uh so that should be enough to officially dominate this area thank you seven upgrades uh fame on me for not noticing but that's three more units down that is basically officially this breeding zone for us too right I mean, we, we've essentially taken it. And we even have another upgrade. So that's very good news. Again, gonna surround it in mesh, as I do. And that's a breeding zone. It's even breeding right now, which is taking it all out. It's getting rid of that, and that, and this bad boy. And I hope with this, it should depower quite a few things. Let alone the fact that we'll probably just kill them. Uh, yeah. Oh no, we are getting power from the south, but that's fine. So as you can see, this is definitely a lot slower in this section. Uh, and I want to see, how is the front doing? How is the front? Yeah, see, the front was able to hold enough. It's not holding well, but it's holding it's holding its area. So I, I do like that, just for that little extra boost to power. Just that teensy tiny bit. And now we can plan out our next egg venture, right? So what do we own? I mean, that's our next egg venture, right? We want to egg over there, take that out, make that ours. So again, we're just going to work our way over. Take out this node, and theoretically with this, that's another set of three units down. Again, all we're trying to do is eliminate the units. Eliminate uh, anything that can stand in our way. These three units, now dead. It's 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 just the grind. One thing, all right, good. we have that completely surrounded like I wanted. And yeah, we're, we're just eliminating the foes in our way. We can, if we want, do things like this. You know, just help it out on the north side, especially where the AC is far weaker. As you can see, there's there's, there's no freaking AC here, right? No AC is pretty solid, if you ask me. We take this out, and yeah, again, that's pretty solid, if you ask me. Just, just making their power run through less efficient means. Not the best, not super needed, but it's kind of fun to do. So that's kind of why I did it there. Didn't really care. Um, and I think it's actually time to reconnect up that path. Look at that. We're, we're just going to connect it up. It's nice. Uh, let it spread. Again, we don't care about this side. We don't want the creep going to this, like, supercharged area, right? So that supercharged area, that can, that can stay over there, and I don't care about it. Doesn't matter to me in the slightest. Now, this entire area down here, this is what we want to see. Uh, and by see, I mean destroy, control, maintain, whatever you want to call it. But we even have... Oh, really get up to the top here. Oh, that's terrible. It's just being shot from all directions. It's not even getting... I was like, it'll just spread the AC. No, it's not It's not doing anything. That's not doing anything. So, again, free the creep. So, eh. Just looks good. It looks good when it flows down like that. That's all. 
And if you can't enjoy the looks of it, then what's the point? What is the point whatsoever? Uh, the point is, we are now working our way down. Trying to, this is going to be trying to do a nice little cutoff, right? Cut off this area, cut off this pylon, try and cut off this bad boy. And then we have to go down to the bottom of this mountain. Again, we are saving our rocks and eggs primarily for the end. Uh, the end is coming, and there's going to be a lot of AC there. It's going to be a lot. It's going to take a moment. We cut this off. And again, the cutoff is key. Shut off their power. The creep must flow. Now, there's there's just no sense in them trying. Uh, we took out the, the Mortar over here, which is good. They are breeding, but next breeding cycle is when we do our assault. So next breeding cycle is the goal, and that's coming in 10 seconds. So we want to try and gain some ground before then. That seven seconds remaining. And Bazinga, two seconds. Two seconds remaining. I think we're going to do like seven eggs. So three, and like three. Seven eggs. Get a nice little all around the edge, one in the center. Uh, thankfully, we do have the snipers to help out. And that is literally breeding for us. It took the entire breeding cycle away from the enemy, even with the, sp the sprayers inside. Don't care that they're going to take it back. We destroyed the sprayers inside too, so they're not going to be just adding more creep to it. So that's just that's just a substantial victory. It's just a substantial victory, and yeah, the uh, the mesh is working. I'm gonna have it mesh down here too, uh, and of course mesh around. Uh, oh gosh, eight upgrades. Why why am I talking? To, uh, this is why I don't like to record another semi-long one after one, because my brain is a little addled, just a wee little bit, so I do apologize there. Um, I should have been, I uh, should have done the mesh, I should have been using my eight upgrades, holy crap. Uh, I'm yelling at myself for that if you're not. And yes, uh, the 28 eggs is perfect. The 28 eggs is what I want to see, though. Uh, that is part of the plan, and I think it's time to enact part one. Uh, so part one will be a little bit of egging here. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of egging here. And we're going to do some rocking. So I want to start, I want to be able to rock these. I don't care about these, so I'm going to give it a sec. So let's first pop all those and get our mesh again. We're going to try and mesh up the world. The key is to mesh up space. Space! All of the mesh. That is what we want to see. So that's pretty beautiful, if you ask me. We've meshed up a good spatial area. And we even have a rock drop zone, uh, which is awesome. So we destroyed two of them. With destroying two of them, we can actually start dropping rocks right there. Boom. Look at that. A lot of units just went down, and those units are not going to be getting urns, period. So now we're just going to keep going. We have a lot of eggs. We only have six rocks left. Now, again, the goal is to get these, but we can also try and get these with just creep. Uh, that's the other goal, right? So we're going to now do a nice, much more level-headed egg plan. That is all of our eggs. Probably should save a few, just in case. So let's destroy a few. Uh, we're gonna i want to i want to mesh up over here make sure the mesh can get oh, what is that clicking on i want to mesh up over there and yes uh we want to spread the mesh spread the creep use our cursor to try and keep some of the creep alive maybe not all of it but some of it and now we can say like three more like one there one there and another one over here that's it, right so our goal is just to destroy a couple right maybe we don't destroy them all and we don't get them all, but we got we got a fair bit. And wait, look at what's happening to these urns. This is the most important part. They're going away from the base. They're leaving. It's like they're on a retreat, right? We even cut off the power up here, so those two are out of power. So that kind of sucks for them. Uh, and we have creep up top. We are we have creep in their base, invading their things. And yeah, we, we've started the official assault. We're in their base. It's 15 minutes. And again, we're, we're not going at like record speed. Don't get me wrong, but we're not doing nothing. And it feels, it's just fun to be in their base. Maybe with a, a slightly weaker cursor, uh, but look at this. We're just destroy that one. 
Every single one that we destroy right now is just an earned unit that is gone forever, right? Uh, because, again, they're not going to be able to rebuild them and give them earns. So now our base assault, so to speak, can actually happen. Uh, the, the mesh over here is doing grand. It's going to start to take over this, get to this crimson, and bazinga, it's good. Right, if we just pop one egg right there, shoot, is that my crimson egg? That was super light on the crimson. I'm actually shocked by that. Uh, so I'm a little shocked by that. That that shocks me. Um, but what's also nice is, look at this. We have mesh over here that exists. And mesh over here that exists means the AC is kind of flowing into the mesh, which is actually very good for us. Um, but we're going to just use our eggs down here. Okay, we're going to come down here, use, I don't know, eight rocks. Again, just kill this area. The goal is now to actually get into the base. Before it was uh, destroy some things. I should have gotten into the base too. Again, I'm talking too much. I do apologize for this. It's not necessarily the best that I've ever done. Uh, but it feels it feels fine. Right, we're putting some mesh down down below, and this is the key. We now have should have mesh down below now, which means the creep will flow in. And look at that. We are actually starting to take over the edge. We're taking over the edge. We're moving on in. They don't really have things that are going to stop us in this area. Uh, other than, I mean, the massive amount of AC, which they still currently have. That's the real problem. Uh, is the fact that they have this massive amount of AC. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, yeah, look at the way the creep is just not really flowing. It's wild. Um, so let's take a look at their AC counts. See, so look at the AC. It's ridiculous. There's so much here. And they do have breeding zones in here. There's at least two, right? There's one here, and there's one at the top. So they, we do have to contend with them still breeding. Uh, and, all, you know, if our creep is not actually coming across properly, that's, that's always going to be a problem. So let us grab another boost. Hop it up here. And here we go. So our goal Kill out a couple of these towers. Spread the mesh. That is the most important part. Spread the mesh down here. We want the mesh to actually be effective because we want as much creep flowing as we can get flowing, right? The more the more mesh we have, the more creep that's flowing, the better for us, right? Maybe we can fill this up a little bit. Let it go. It's actually doing some pretty solid work. Did leave some ground over here, which kind of sucks, you know? Does kind of suck a little bit. But that's okay. As you can see, it's a lot easier to take away things from the top. And let's, let's, I want to do the little dance. So the little dance is coming. And it's not terrible. We need this set destroyed, though. Uh, and of course, I want the mesh to be around the breeding zone. <laughs> Uh, but what I really want to do is get into their entire, entire line of miners. So I don't know. I think we might be okay to start doing that. As long as we move with purpose. Uh, how many eggs? We should have enough eggs, too. Eggs are over. So the problem is I don't want that on when I use my eggs. So I'm going to wait until that either turns off or we destroy it. But the goal now is mine assault. Yes. Oh, I stopped meshing. Dang it. Why did I stop meshing? Uh, let's... Go up here. Luckily, we are strong enough. We can take out the base like this, but again, the goal is to use the AC to take over the map. Not to use uh, everything else. Or not the AC, the actual creep. I'm not... You know, so I am going to do this. And this this doesn't end the, their miners, but it ends a large, a large quantity of them. A very, very sizable quantity. Uh, feels good. It's more, that's more, it's more of a feel-good moment, knowing that we have that ability. That we're now in their base, destroying their things. I don't really care about destroying the MRF. It's actually freeing urns that are going to potential... Uh, cannons and things in here so it's actually not beneficial <laughs> to destroy the emrift uh or not the yeah the urn portal not the emrift uh the emrift is actually great to destroy so we're going to destroy that of course uh that prevents stuff from coming all over the place again we could have just or we could destroy it with what we have right now and we're not it's not part of the plan 
Uh, I have five upgrades, so you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this assault. We're gonna use our five upgrades. Five. Uh, you can see, look, this has actually pushed all the way over here. It's nice. It's not gonna push much further, but again, it is just causing havoc. So we have caused basically all the havoc that we need. Um, and we're just eliminating the last vestiges of earned units in their base. Uh, they do have a couple of cannons. I'm saving the six rocks for these six cannons up there. Uh, for when we do our final, final assault. Uh, they, that factory got filled up real fast. I'm actually shocked by how fast that factory got filled up. Um, so yeah. Is this that much faster? Again, we could have destroyed it way before now. Just sort of playing with the food. So it's a little bit of a cheese. It's not the cheesiest. Because again, I am, I am playing... Uh, but I do want to see how fast we can drain this, because I didn't drain it, you know, not right now. The entire goal would be just to say, hey, we did it, we got creep in their base, uh, we did it, we're not just egging it. You know, we're using the cursor mixed with the creep, but again, right now, it's a, it's a little different, it's just a little different. And I feel like the AC has dropped precipitously, so let's see what the AC, look at the AC in here now. The AC is almost completely gone. That's how amazing we have been doing. So let's even let's even swap this up from what we were doing. Right? We're going to destroy this area, and then we're going to egg. We're going to swap to to an egg zone, right? So our cursor is that much stronger because there's so much less AC in here. Look at that. We don't even care. It doesn't even matter. We're not. I'm not going to let this breed again. We're just taking this. This corner is ours. You don't have the AC to push us out any longer. Um, and apparently, I never connected the mesh there. So that was a problem. Um, but I'm just going to mesh everything in here. If, there, if, it, if there's a spot to be meshed, this is where I want my mesh to go. Right? Uh, so there we go. We have below 20 eggs, two more upgrades, and let's just use them. Uh, again, just a lot of fun. Lots of fun. Lots of plans. 20 eggs? I think so. Three, four. Ooh, they're going to get another Emrift. Or are they? Uh, we'll do something like this. This might be too much, to be fair. Uh, I'm just sort of spread... Oh, that's 20 eggs and 8 rocks. So I definitely want 6 here. That should be good. Uh, and we'll see what happens. We have, we have 2 extra. So, Bazinga. Let's just take a look at that. Look at the amount of creep that it's depositing. Like, we don't even have to, like, do anything now. They might fend it off with that force up there, but we destroyed pretty much all of their thing. Oh. oh, it's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's a breeding zone. No more breeding zone for you. Nay, nay, nay. Again, just mesh it on up because why not? Uh, and we'll just take it out. And let's just see how cut off we can make them, right? So if we were to do something like this... Oh dear, oh dear. I mean, technically speaking, the second we take out their connection to the outside world, the entire map loses power, just so you know. We have taken out their in-base Emrift. Um, so for instance, why, why do I even say that? If I just take out... Mm -hmm. yeah, oh no, the base is dying. Don't die, base! No! I want this to work. I so want this to work. Oh no. What is it? What's allowing the power out? Is the Oh, it's the pylon. It's this pylon. Get out of here, pylon. There we go. Look at that. The entire map. Oh, it feels so good. No more power. It always, it, just a big power connection drop with their base still alive. Duh, always, always feels good to me. Um, and yeah, there's there's now literally nothing they can do, of course. Um, they were able to reconnect up, but I don't care. I, I'll let them get their power back. We'll just take out these. We'll take out some of these. Oh, dear. Oh, my. And that is the map. Again, quicker. Still not the cheesiest. Again, you saw a five-minute time and things like that. Um, so, hey. I feel good with what we did there. Definitely... Almost half the time, probably could have been a little bit faster, but I, I feel like that was a pretty good semi-real, semi-cheese time, which we could have gone faster, 
right? I mean, I definitely had enough power where I could have just sat on the base at like 18, 19 minutes, right? Oof, oof, two minutes. That's a that's some good egging. Um but yeah, this has been the creep that could L pack. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. It. I definitely did myself. I thought it was a lot of fun. And yeah, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully for the second time. Uh, not that you can double subscribe or double like. And don't click it twice because that'll unclick it. So, oof. jeez. Uh, but have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.